righteous right hand Security for humanity uh, Don't you dare to worry You're never alone He's beside you Don't worry, trust him With all of your heart And lean not on your own understanding Jesus never forgot about me He calls me by my name His goodness Oh, taste and you'll see Oh, taste and you will see I can't wait for Mr. Gruel to tell us more about Joseph today. I barely got any sleep. I've been pondering. What happened to Joseph? I know, right? How did God bring Joseph's dream to pass? I'm very excited to hear the rest of Joseph's story. Hey, everybody! Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Mr. Gruel. Oh, wow! Everybody seems to be in a great mood today. I absolutely love it! We're extremely intrigued by the story of Joseph. We anxiously await to hear more. <laughs> Guys, I was waiting for that. I'm super excited. I've got a video for you. Let's get into it. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joseph. This is Joseph, hey. who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. He was his father's favorite, so his brothers hated him oh. and sold him into slavery. Yeep. You see, Joseph was taken to Egypt, Ooh. and Potiphar, one of the Pharaoh's officials, bought him for his household. God was with Joseph, and he did well in Potiphar's house. Oh! Potiphar saw that God made everything Joseph did a success. Aha! So he put Joseph in charge of his whole house. Yeah! And God blessed Potiphar's house because of this. Potiphar's wife saw how well Joseph was doing in the house, and she wanted to make him do bad things. Joseph ran away from her because he wanted nothing to do with someone who would try to make him do the wrong thing. This made Potiphar's wife angry, and she wanted to be rid of Joseph. Huh? So she lied and made Potiphar believe that Joseph had done the bad things that she wanted him to do. Potiphar burned with anger against Joseph and sent him to prison. While Joseph was in prison, again, he did well and the warden soon made him responsible for all that was done there. God was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. When two full years had passed, Pharaoh was having unsettling dreams. Pharaoh did not understand his dreams, so he sent for Joseph. Pharaoh asked Joseph to tell him the meaning of his dreams. With God's help, Joseph told Pharaoh that the dreams told of what could come in the future, and he explained all the dreams to the Pharaoh. Pharaoh believed that what Joseph was saying was true. He trusted Joseph as a wise man, and he put him in charge of the land of Egypt, of Pharaoh's palace, and of all his people. So here's a few lessons, two lessons that we can take from that amazing clip. Number one, do what pleases God despite the consequences. So as you guys saw, Potiphar's wife tried to make Joseph do bad stuff, like really bad stuff. But Joseph 
decided to rather do what pleases God than what pleases man. What does it teach us? It helps us that as you go with your friends and there's break time and when you're at home or you're chatting on WhatsApp and all these things, that you always remember to always do what pleases God rather than what pleases man. The second one is, is to rely on God's guidance for the plans of your future. So what does that mean? That means that we have to allow God to lead us and to guide us so that we can live in the plans that He has for us. Because Joseph had many challenges while he was in Pharaoh's house. He was in jail and God gave him the ability to interpret dreams, the gifting to interpret dreams. And he used that still while in jail for God's glory. Even though he could have been sorrowful and sad about why am I in jail? Rather, despite the circumstances, he still chose to do what God called him to do. So that, what does it tell us? Whatever you guys are facing, whatever you're going through, keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep focused on Him. No matter the challenges, let Him guide you so that you can live in the future that He has for you. God's counsel and wisdom is always available to us. We just need to ask. What happened to Joseph's brothers? I'm sure he made his brothers regret what they did since he's now in charge. Well, actually, you'll be surprised by what Joseph really did. But I'll keep it for next time. That's all for now. From us, the Breakfast Squad. Bye! Bye!